funny story that happened when I was playing ball at Houston Tillerson University. We were on the road, uh, we traveled to Lake Home to play in a game. The girls and boys team normally roll together. The girls will get off and they'll go warm up, practice in the gym. While they were warming up, you know, Mike decides that he needs to use the restroom. So we both go in there. And, you know, once we're into the, the locker room, we realize someone was already in there blowing it up. Like, who beat us into our locker room and start blowing our bathroom up? And so while I'm thinking, Mike's beating on the stall, talking, who is this? Who is this? And, you know, me being a, the detective that I am, I just kind of like look under the stall and realize they got some small feet. And, you know, Trey being our shortest player, he's like 5'1", makes sense that he would have the smallest feet. So I'm like, Trey, Trey, what you doing in here? What you doing here blowing this up like this? You out of line, dog. You out of line. So Mike grabs some toilet paper and say, Trey, say something, Trey. He doesn't say a word. So Mike starts tossing toilet paper into the stall. And I didn't want to be left out. So I grabbed paper towel. And, and I wet them, and now I'm chucking paper towels into this stall. And we're screaming out, Trey's name, he doesn't say a word. So after we just filled this stall with toilet paper and paper towels, Mike says, all right, Trey, you won this round. And so we walk out. And so, you know, when we walk out the locker room door, it was right to the gym. So the girls were still warming up. You know, we're looking at them. And, and Mike makes this observation that Trey and the girls team had the same shoes on. And I'm like, wow. You know, I know Trey supports the girls team. I mean, he's a big supporter. But to buy the same shoes as them? Man, I, that's some guy, man. That's that's a hero right there. And and then we look at the door into the locker room, I mean, into the gym. There goes Trey. And I'm like, whoa. I mean, Trey's good at basketball. And Trey has talent. I didn't know he was a magician too. I mean, how did he get off the bus into the locker room without anyone seeing him? And then from the locker room to the door, I mean, he's a he's Houdini. I'm just like, I'm in, I'm in shock. And then uh, the locker room door opens up and it's Ashley. I mean, the heart and soul of the girls team was in our locker room, blowing it up. And, you know, I, all I could think was that, you know, she was warming up, doing a three-woman weave, had to use the restroom, tried to go into a safe place, and she got TP by two jackasses. You know, and to this day, you know, we have never said we were sorry. Matter of fact, we have never brought it back up. And you know what, Ashley? I'm sorry. You did not deserve that at all. It was Mike's idea.